guys at davidpbuyersparadise.com and we're doing a dry start today with our Fluval Chi tank. This is just your basic, I think it's five or six gallon Fluval Chi. And what we've done is we've just put dirt down in it. And I don't know if you've seen the other video, but we did, we put some, uh, some mineralized soil down in it and uh, just put a little bit of cap on it. We just put a safety sorb cap on it. Just, it's just a fired clay material. And the key with um, dry starts is that you want to have just enough water in there to keep it moist, but not so much that it's flooding out the plants. And I generally shoot to just have it just below the, um, you just want to have just enough water in it to be just below the substrate level. So there's not like pooling water in it. And right now it looks like we're kind of in that area with it. So we're just going to go with that. And today we're just going to do a scape with, um, Reason to start on Reppins and Downoy since we both have, we have both of them available right now. So, and we're gonna go ahead and use them since we can take advantage of that excess right now. So, we've got um, the nice thing about doing escape like this is it's uh, the dry starts are really easy to to plant because you're not putting water in it, so you don't have to actually push them down and anchor the plants down. They'll anchor themselves in time, so all you gotta do is just kind of get them settled in, get the roots started just a little bit, and then you're good to go. So, without further ado, oh, I am possibly gonna put some kind of driftwood or rock in here, but for right now, it's just gonna be plants only, and we're gonna grow it out that way. So, I'm just using some star giant reppins. See that guy right there? And this one's already got some roots on it, so it's it's already pretty happy and I just took and cut it at each interval at each uh, node so it can send out runners on each one and what we're gonna do is just put um, we're gonna put just enough to get a ground cover of this on the front right of the tank and then for the rest of the tank for for now it's just gonna be all down away on the rest of the tank but you know, it's gonna take time to fill in so Right now I'm just using the plain tweezers just to kind of help get it all situated. You can see what I'm doing here I guess. But. So that's where we're at right now. And I'll go ahead and speed it up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch this in real time. <laughs> Okay, now we'll start adding the downoy, which is still in immersed form and it's quite small, so we're going to just kind of spread it all out so it can have plenty of room to fill in. These are tissue culture plants, so they, uh, they all kind of, the way tissue culture works is it uses hormones to grow, like to stimulate plant growth off of just like one leaf or one piece of a plant to make a whole bunch of clones of it. It's kind of like uh, pretty much convincing it to reproduce. But what happens is then all of these plants grow off of this one uh, piece of material so you get a ton of little baby plantlets all over it. So because of that, it makes it a little tricky to plant this stuff, but if you're really uh, diligent about it, you can usually do pretty good. And what we'll have to do over time is just as it grows in, we're just going to separate them out and kind of once we get some good root systems going. So. Okay, so that's where we're at now. Get a good still shot of that. And all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna cover it with a piece of clear plastic and then we're gonna put the light over it and just leave it alone. And we'll check on it in maybe a week or so, see if there's any progress and we'll be in touch. Thanks for watching, bye.